if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration and juice. It is April the 21st, 2023, and today the topic is All Hands on Deck. Uh, Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. For those that tune in live, you guys may be distracted by my wild card glasses that I'm wearing. I hope y'all don't get too distracted because I feel like today's topic is a little bit important. But um, I just unboxed my new glasses, y'all, and I'm wearing my wild card pair because I just had to. And so (laughs) I might talk more about that in the after show. I did film my unboxing as well, so maybe y'all can be on the lookout for that. Coming on uh, the Actress Miracle Sims YouTube, possibly later on today. But uh, those of you all that listen and tune into the juice, then you already see the wildest pair that I bought. Um, <laughs> but I just was like, you know what? These look fun. And I can see myself just wearing them for fun or wearing them as characters or whatever, whatever. And y'all probably see the reflection of my new ring light. Shout out to my mom. My mom gave me a ring light for my birthday last year. So y'all see the reflection in my glasses, but I'll tell y'all more about all of that later, y'all, because we got to get into the juice, okay? We got to get into the juice. All hands on deck, all right? Oh, Lord. Okay, so, um, well, I hope that you guys had a great day yesterday. Mine was just fine. Um, I was working, you know, went to do my shift at the church, um, maintained a, quite a few tasks and things like that. Um, yesterday was also a class day for NJ and everything like that. Speaking of NJ, listen, y'all's nephew tried it. <laughs> Your nephew was trying it yesterday. Listen, we, when I got ready to leave, um, was getting ready to leave from work. Um, I guess he was just having too much fun. He didn't want to leave. So then I'm like, come on, NJ, you know, you got a class. Da, 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 da. That usually gets his, his motor running, right? To say, oh, you gotta, you know, go to class later. Teacher Alicia started naming all the little kids that be in his class. Um, but for some reason yesterday, he just was, like, putting his little foot down, being stubborn, like, being extra. I'm like, hold on, kid. Like, okay, how many times do I have to tell you it's time to go? Like, I done said it about three, four times now. So, you know, now you, you borderline. I mean, he was already being disrespectful, but, you know, it's definitely looking rude and, and wrong. And and so, um, you know, I started to talk to him about, you know, hey, you know, I asked you to do what I asked you to do. Like, first, I was asking him to help his uh who he calls his teacher is one of the ladies at the church um her name is miss amanda so shout out to miss amanda for being there and being a awesome lady who is you know i guess providing child care throughout the week to the people that work at the church but anyway i'm like you know help miss amanda to clean up because obviously she was picking up all these blocks and stuff and i know there were other kids that was there too with nj but my thing is like he was the only one there and i'm like you can help her pick this stuff up because most likely you was a part of putting it out you know and I'm like, help teacher Alicia, I mean, teacher Amanda to pick up the toys. I want to color and it want to go. All the, a whole little attitude. Um, after that, I was starting, trying to reason with him because I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> snap too much. I might have to sit here at the church, you know, and everything like that. We having a good day, you know, not trying to go off too much. But I'm just trying to let him know, like, look, I'm not playing with you, you know. And then, um, so I'm trying to talk to him, reason with him, you know do some mob stuff or whatever and then i start talking to him about you know the punishment <laughs> i haven't told y'all but there's a punishment that uh dario my husband has started to incorporate or whatever and it's um having nj to be in push-up position <laughs> so he's like he gonna be a strong little boy but um so i'm like do we need to do that and he he still went straighten up and fly right, y'all. And I was like, well, let's go ahead and do that then. You know, I'm like, here, go ahead and get into push-up position. Then all of a sudden, he wants to help teacher. And I'm like, son, no, you ain't helping the teacher now. Now it's time for you to get into the push-up position because you went past, 
you know, my time of asking you, time of being lenient with you, you know, you being disrespectful and rude, talking back, and now I'm asking you to get down into the push-up position. He didn't want to do it. He just was refusing. So I had to give him a couple, you know, little, you know, love taps and was like, you know what, we're finna go. We're finna just go ahead and go. You know, I obviously I apologized to the teacher and everything like that. And then we just went on home. And I just gave him a talking to as well. As soon as he got home, you know, I sent him to his room, things like that. Because my thing, and I, and it just really upset me. I think I'm sharing it with y'all because I was really upset. Like, I'm over here like, first of all, and then at some point it seemed like he was going, he was trying to tell the teacher on me or something like that. And I'm like, kid, at the end of the day, I'm your mama. Okay, you ain't going, you can't tell nobody on me. You know, you might be able to tell my mama, but that, that ain't none of his business. Outside of that, he can't tell nobody on me. You see what I'm saying? Like, so it just was a lot. It, it was a lot. But um, he was away. He wanted to apologize and all that. I'm like, yeah, of course. You, you say stuff like that after you get in trouble. Like, but, you know, hopefully, you know, we came to an understanding and everything like that. And I know we afterwards and whatever, um, you know, between the time when we got home and the time for his class, he was in his room. Um, when it's time for his class, he pretty much did everything good for class. Um, I know we had some time to talk again afterwards and whatnot as well. He took a post of me when you hurt my feelings. I said, well, you hurt my feelings, you know, and everything like that. But um, I was like, listen, kid, you're doing too much. You're doing way too much. And I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I don't, now, mommy, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't think there was ever a time I, I responded in that way. Now, I don't know. You can tell me, you tell everybody about four-year-old miracle, by all means, in the comments, whatever you need to do. But I just, I just don't recall. I don't recall being like that. And I'm like, I mean, I understand you're a little boy and whatever, whatever, but, you know, and I know, I understand we're two different people and stuff like that, but. Somebody, list. well, it's me. I was about to say, somebody better get him. I mean, it's me. I have to be the one to train him and stuff because at the end of the day, it's like little stuff with me now will turn into the bigger things when he becomes an adult and stuff like that. And so I'm like, you know, we are intending to instilling you to become a good man and everything like that. And you got to start by being a good boy and stuff like that. So that was a whole thing. Like, I would say that's, that, that was one of the major main things. I, you know, I had a good day outside of that, like, you know, and everything. So. Y'all be in prayer. Be in prayer for your your, your nephew, NJ. <laughs> but anywho, so... um, But I would say in regards to this conversation today, right? So the, the topic is called All Hands on Deck, right? And so I feel like there's a few things that kind of inspired this conversation. Um, But I would say one of them is possibly, um, again, being a part of the upcoming vision for the church, Mountain West, that I am attending. Um... You know, I believe the pastor is going to be launching all these, you know, ideas and things to the congregation on Sunday and everything like that. And the things that he has shared has given me the impression that he's about to call to all the people that all hands are on deck. Um, you know, he, of course, it's different. He, You know, his theming is different. His wording may be a little different. But in my heart and mind, when I hear what he's saying, um, it makes me think about all hands on deck. And I guess I was reflecting on that this morning um, alongside of a lot of other things. Um, and, yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I do feel a sense of urgency about us getting out here and doing the will of God. Like, if you claim to be a believer, you got to be doing something. I mean, you whether it's prayer, just all day praying, whatever it is, do whatever it is for the kingdom. Because it's like all hands on deck. Like, I, I feel a sense of urgency. Um, for this and stuff like that and so I don't know if you all feel it as well I feel like some people feel it as well too and I know and it's not just going to the whole oh uh you know um Jesus is coming they've been saying that for years now I'm not just saying in regards to just that aspect I think there's more so a sense of urgency to share our faith to um you know make more disciples and all things like that um because I guess I was reminded this morning as well with the, with the different reflections and things like that that I was doing, um, how much power it was that Jesus poured into the 12 and the 12, the fruits from the 12 is still um, established to this day and time, you know? And so, um, yeah, so all hands are on deck. All hands are on deck. Like, who knows, like, 
what it would look like if, for example, the whole church, everybody in the church starts to, uh, you know, really do the will of God, really walk in their discipleship, things like that, you know. Um, who's to say if the whole body of Christ that is currently believers, we all, each individual person, do whatever it is that the Lord has gifted us to do. Um, obviously, it makes an impact. Um, and so, I'm sure more than we even know. Like, even this morning, there was a moment where um, I was wrapping up my notes and whatnot. And um, NJ had came in here or whatever. And he was like, um, he was he's like, what are you drawing? And I'm like, I'm not. I'm not drawing, I'm studying, and I was explaining to him, you know, uh, what I was doing, but my thing is, like, even that, that little bit of seed of him seeing me study in the morning, like, that could be a huge thing, like, who knows what he does with these seeds that are being planted, you know, in this season, y'all see what I'm doing with the seeds that have been planted in me, shout out to my mom and everything like that, so, I, that, you know, hey, hey, um, I think he keeps going like that, it grows like that. And that's ultimately what the conversation is about this morning. So let's get into it. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. Um, when I looked up the phrase all hands on deck, the definition says a cry or signal used on board ship, typically in an emergency to indicate that all crew members are to go on deck. All right. So that is the um, overall definition of that phrase. Um, a secondary, I guess, definition said used to indicate that the involvement of all members of a team is required. So there you go. All hands on deck. Just in case you didn't know the phrase or what it meant and things like that, where it came from. Um, y'all can go deeper with that as well. Like I came across this, um, blog post that is in the go deeper section, um, that you guys can read that has a little bit more information about maybe the history of it and things like that as well. But yeah, I think when I saw that this morning, the words urgency stood out to me. And, of course, this idea of uh, all everybody being involved. Um, now, this is interesting because, again, I know, what was it last week? Um, I felt, the, the I guess, the need and felt led to share with you guys, um, you know, spectators get into the fight. So, I don't know. It seems like this is a continuation of that in, in some ways, but... Hey, I mean, let, let's go deeper and see what the Lord has to say through little old me, uh, through the things that I've studied this morning. So, 1 Timothy 4 and 14, it says, Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders had their hands on you. So, um... Yeah, I mean, what really stood out to me in that particular verse is the part that says, do not neglect the gift you have. Um, at the end of the day, I think a lot of us may be doing that, right? We might just be going through life. We're never using our gifts, never using our talents for the kingdom, right? We're over here just brushing things to the side because we're worried about the things of this life, bills, you know, food, whatever. You know, we might be worried about all the things and never walking into the calling, using the gift and things of that nature. It was very interesting. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine this week and, um... You know, she was letting me know. Um, and I was I was trying to remind her. I was like, hey, you know, people out here need whatever it is that you know. Like, at the end of the day, it reminded me of that um, uh, that mastermind I went to last year. Shout out to my friend, Summer, for inviting me. Um, but the mastermind that I went to last year, she, the lady that was over it, um, she had a, a, a phrase she coined. I don't know, should I use the phrase? Because I don't need y'all out here stealing her phrase because she said she need to go copyright it or whatever. But, um basically um without me saying a phrase she was saying that everybody is a guru right because you know something that the that maybe somebody else don't know and you can teach whatever that thing is to that next person and even if you continue to learn and whatnot that's fine you know you add to your value and whatnot by doing that but you know something that the next person may not know and you can share that to the next person and so um yeah, I mean, those things really stood out to me. Um, I, you know, it stood out to me in that, that mastermind. And I, I pretty much shared that with my friend. Like, you may feel like you're on a low point. You may feel like, you know, I don't have anything to offer to the world. But that's not true. At the end of the day, if you have breath in your body, you are here. You have a purpose. And that means you know something or can do something or whatever the case is to, um, especially for the kingdom. Like, obviously, ultimately, that's what it's for um, at the end of the day. So, I hope that encourages you, inspires your friend. Do not neglect 
the gift. Right? That's what it said. Do not neglect the gift. Um, now, 2 Timothy 1 and 6, it says, For this reason I remind you to fan into the flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on my hands. So, um, not only do you should not neglect it, it's saying fan, in, fan the flame, y'all. Fan the flame. And what is the flame? The gift of God. So, fan that gift. <laughs> Need, that gift needs to spread from what I'm receiving here. Look, these glasses is really helping me this morning. Because y'all know I usually be trying to hold up the thing and everything to see what's going on. I ain't even got to do that today. Look, to God be the glory. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, but, yeah, y'all. Um, fan the flame, right? Spread the flame. Uh, spread you know, uh, the gifting that God has given you. Um, First Timothy 2 and 8, it says, I desire then that in every place the man should pray, lifting holy hands without anger or quarreling. You know, that really stood out to me this morning. And I don't know if people would put these verses with this conversation, but I feel like this is an example or a small glimpse of what the Lord really wants to do. Like, I know that, the God of the Bible, right, comes with a bad rep. People got it, take issue with the Old Testament. People take issue with Jesus. People take issue with all the things. But you really can start to see the heart of God when you get into the Word, right? When you get into these verses. And in this particular verse, to me, I'm seeing that what God really wants all of us doing is just at every place praying and lifting up holy hands. You know, not arguing, not quarreling, not killing, not stealing, not any of the other things that we do uh, with our free will, okay, that we tend to forget about because they were like, oh, you know, why does the Lord allow X, Y, Z? Well, you have free will. And unfortunately, people use their free will for evil. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. But hey, you know, forgetting all that, what God's desire is, is for us to be praying and lifting up holy hands. Like, <laughs> That's what I receive in this verse. Now, obviously, we can go deeper and read verses around it to see what else. You know, maybe there's more context and whatnot as well. But this stood out to me to share in regards to that. So, all hands on deck. You know, perhaps let's let's do more praying and lifting up holy hands versus arguing and quarreling. That's what I'm receiving. <laughs> um, now, do, do, do. Ephesians 2 and 10. It says, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Uh, oldie but goodie, very familiar verse here on the juice, shared all the time, I feel like. But, uh, you know, it's, a, again, a reminder um, of what we should be doing. Um, and I feel like this is for each and every person. It's not just for the pastor. It's not just for the minister. It's not just for, you know, people that are out front or whatever the case is. This is probably, I feel like this is for everybody. Um, you know, he's created for all of us to do some type of good works. Um, now again, even if like people look down on prayer, like they feel like this, the least you can do is pray. Um, uh, but it seems like that's the most you can do as well. Cause it tells us in the Bible to always pray. So, um, just saying y'all just, I mean, don't look down on your gifting. If you are prayer, then pray to the best of your ability all day. However you need to do it. You know what I mean? Like that's still a powerful gift. Um, that we should use, you know. Um, now, if you are the one out front, right, you pass X, Y, and Z, whatever the case is, then do that to the best of your ability. Whatever the gifting is, um, do it again for the best to the best of your ability to glory and honor to the Lord. That's what I'm receiving. Now, Romans 13 and 11. Besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep for salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. Um, listen, I think the thing that stood out to me in this verse is wake from sleep. It is time. The time, the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. Like if you are a fellow believer and you sleep in any aspect, you know, wake up. <laughs> that's what I'm receiving. Wake up. Uh, you know, all hands are on deck. You are being called alongside of everybody else to, to do your part. And because and, there's a sense of urgency, right? It's an emergency, you know, um, and everything like that. Um, you are important. <laughs> you are important. So get out here and do some work. 
Why am I saying? I don't know. That just amused me for some for some reason. But I mean, for real, like get up and do some work. Like stop sleeping. Wake up. Like hello. Do you see what's going on? Like. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay. So then John 9 and 4. We must work the works of him who sent me. While it is day, night is coming when no one can work. So it, it seems like, again, there's a sense of urgency. The time is now to do the work. At some point, it's going to be past work time. You won't be able to do the work. So this is the time to do the work and, and wake up and everything like that. I mean, I guess... Let's see, I got one more verse, I think. One more verse. So, uh, Romans 9 and 28, it says, For the Lord will carry out this sentence upon the earth fully and without delay. So, God is going to do his will, uh, his way, and everything like that. I mean, again, I believe that we all play our part uh, in it. So, all hands are on deck. Um, I don't know why the Lord keep asking <laughs> Look, look, like, like, am, I, am I just like the person on the siren, you know, put, put on the siren? Like, well, am I, I'm the one on the bullhorn? The Lord got me out here on the bullhorn. I don't know, like, why the Lord keeps telling me to tell everybody to, hey, come on, get in the fight. Or, hey, all hands on deck. Like, but that's ultimately what I had to share this morning. I mean, there's plenty of other verses and things like that to peruse and let marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. But, uh, yeah, that's the juice, y'all. Now, the Bible verse of today is First Chronicles 16 and 34. It says, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Friends, I hope that you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. <laughs> Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Just a reminder, on Friday, which is today, we have a new episode of the GSL Talk Show coming out at 7 p.m. And it is with Michael J. Chanley, Pastor Michael J. Chanley, will be joining us tonight. So I hope that you all tune in and um, check out this conversation from this man of God. And yes, I look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow if the Lord's will. Have a wonderful Friday. Bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there. Check out the options. Consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show. But we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.